Hello, I'm Homestar92, and welcome to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last part, we did all sorts of wonderful things, including go up into the woods and... stuff. In this part, I'm gonna waste even more of your time on that stupid claw machine, because I know I can outsmart it. So, I'm going to carefully watch the pattern. Now that I have multiple attempts. And suddenly the little bag is no longer there. So I guess that's all just a sequence break. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the one item you're actually supposed to get through this. So we got a thing, of course, as you can probably tell. This is a Yoshi doll. Recently, he seems to be showing up in many games. That's cool and all. But let's go ahead and challenge again. Challenge accepted. I'm going to go for that second rupee. And I got it, because I'm awesome like that. And then I'm done. Because I have had my gambling fun time. And that will be it for me. 30 more rupees. Okay, I'll try it once more. So I can try to get to 100, even though I won't actually get to 100. Alright, let's see. Do I get the red rupee this time? No, but that's okay. It was worth the it was worth a try. All right, so let's go get some magic dust. Now, the crane would have been a quick way to do that, but there's also an easy way to do that, and I think I'm going to side with that one. So let's go the easy route. Once I reach 200 rupees, we're going to come back and buy the shovel, of course, and then maybe we'll be doing some very immoral and unscrupulous things in order to get the next item. But more on that later. As I've said, it is mandatory that you do not um, ever go back in the shop if you want to have a perfect game. So, pick your poison. If you want to have a perfect game, you can steal, but you basically never have the ability to go back to the shop. Which, you know, means it's up to you whether you want to try that. Personally, I don't find it to be worthwhile, but that's just me. Well, I mean, wait. I do find it to be worthwhile. What am I saying? I don't need the shop. I can grind for items. It takes longer. But this is a let's play. Time limits aren't an issue. Wait. Oh yeah, I forgot. For 98% of let's players, time limits aren't an issue. But for me, they are. Because my life is full of fail. Is that a... That is a button item. Let's give it to the witch. So, we're mixing it up into something. I do like this song. It was reused in, um... It was reused in, what's it called? The Oracle Games. So I think that's pretty cool. A lot of things were, though. The entire format of the game was reused. This magic powder basically... Um... It basically is Ember Seeds in the Oracle Games, which, if you're curious about the Oracle Games, okay, you still can't hit them with your sword even after that. Duly noted. Cool. That was fun. But, as the witch says, do take care. There's not much there. So what we need to do is go back to the entrance, because I have some business to attend to. Oh no! I have some business to attend to regarding a raccoon. Basically, a raccoon scrambled up the entrance to the place, and we need to de-scramble the entrance. And how do we do that? Why, it's simple. Magic powder. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's no longer 
right there. You actually have to look for him. So, you know, look for this guy and use your magic powder. And he starts going crazy. Like it's some kind of crazy game. And it's Terran. That, that's weird. He dreamed he was a raccoon. Well, that was cool. And now the woods are no longer scrambled, and we can get the tail key. Now we can open the tail cave gate. Hoot! Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now! The windfish is waiting. Thank you for that word of wisdom. Oh no, like likes. They eat your shield. Sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky, and they do not. This is the swamp, not the tail cave. Right now I am not interested in it. I am only interested in getting to the tail cave, which is south of where I currently am. So, I obviously need to go not north, but south. And of course, we, as you can see, there's a bunch of treasure chests that are behind heavy blocks. Maybe in the future, when we can lift heavy blocks, we'll come back and take care of business here. But for the time being, it's time to head down south. Specifically, to the Tail Cave. Because it is there that we will find our first dungeon which is sure to be a good time, I assure you. Am I going the right way? Probably not. Yes, I am! Tail cave! Hooray! Put in your key, and the doorway opens. Welcome to level 1, Tail Cave. I should note that this is fairly blind, but I know the formula of these games well enough to know what I'm doing. Decently well, anyway. You got the compass. Now you can see where the chests and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room when you enter. It goes doot 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 doot. As Odin's back 33 so, so much likes to point out. But that's it, we're done with the left path. Oh yeah, I forgot. The map is here. So. There is a key hidden in this room. How do we get the key? Probably by getting rid of all the enemies. Or pressing a button. That works too. And another small key. Which means another door I can open and, you know, falling down holes is not fun. If this is to be a no-death run, I will have to increase my quality of my game. I did not bring my A game. And that's no good. I am already near death. So, hearts, they'd be nice. I would appreciate hearts. Um, I wonder. No, those are not the guys who you can sprinkle magic powder on and get fairies. They probably are the guys who require a different item to get fairies from. That is not only possible, but probable. That guy cannot easily be killed from my current angle, so I'm not going to worry much about him. This guy will jump away from you and give you a piece of power, which is complete rubbish, and I don't need it at all. Well, that no-death run didn't last long. Suddenly, I care a lot less about morals. Well, it was fun while it lasted. But if I go over here, which would have been a better way to go in the first place... If I go over here... I can kill these enemies, and then get a treasure chest, and then get the map. At last, you got a map. 
At last, Link. At last. Anyway, these are one-way doors, basically. Same deal as before. And when I say before, I'm referring to the Oracle games, because as you can tell, they're incredibly similar. I would actually argue that I like this game more. The goal of this room is to stop all of these enemies on the same suit, which becomes harder if you do them at different times. Your best bet is to get them all in a spin slash. So he goes from heart to diamond, so I need to slash him when he's at a heart. Let's not do that, and instead... Come at me, bro. Okay, spade. Dang it. Heart. Spade. Diamond. Spade. These rooms can be a bit tricky, because... Well, to be honest, it's mostly luck. Or, getting them all close enough together to spin slash them together. And I died again! Hooray! Death is fun. Anyway, let's um, keep attempting, pathetically, because I don't want to be outsmarted by inanimate objects. I want to win. I'm in it to win it, as you know. Oh, I almost got all three in one spin slash. Heart, heart, well, at least I got the two together. Now they're all different, lovely. So spin slashes do nothing at this point. Okay, so I need to stop them both on a spade. This is a very tough room. I might just cut ahead to when I finally solve it. Now, spades. Nope. Er, clubs. Sorry. I know the names of them in my head. Come at me, bro. This is very difficult, I must say. Alright, we're going for clubs. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Darn it, that didn't work as well as I thought. And one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Got it. That's a good way to do it, like put, assign numbers to them and say them out loud. That sucked up a lot of my time. Owl statues. Turn aside the spinned ones with a shield. Thanks for that. Thank you. You're awesome. These Stalfos are tricky in this game, but they, you know, enemies that drop hearts are nice. Enemies that drop rupees are also nice, so you know. I'll take it, I guess, if I have to. Uh, I can't do anything there just yet. But I can work on it. Since I do not yet have bombs, I can die again. You know, that that's cool. Three deaths in one video. So remember that no death run I was talking about? <laughs> yeah, that happened. Anyway, back to the dungeon proper. Let's go ahead and head over here. Whoa, I am almost out of time, and I shouldn't have been watching my timer, apparently, because that kills me. So I'll tell you what, in the next part, we are probably going to finish this dungeon, but until then, I'm Homestar92, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Later.